ब्रह्मदेवा आधा देवास सब्द ऋषिज ऑल रिवर देवथास ऑल केम एंड शाउटेड जय जय लुकिंग एट गौथमा गंगा एंड लॉर्ड शिवा आउट ऑफ हैप्पीनेस दे सैंग सॉन्ग्स एंड डेड पूजा गंगा एंड लॉर्ड शिवा बिके मच हैप्पी एंड आस्ट वॉट बूंद दे वॉन्ट both of you should take a board as a deity here and bless the sages who do good deeds requested the rishis ganga looked at them and said you all stand here as a holy river swarupa what if i remain here or not you all be with gautama i alone will start now let good things happen to you all you all make this world divine and remain here at once devas rishis and all again pray to ganga o oh mother in order to purify us all you should remain here ganga asked what do i have more special than you all at that time the other holy river devathas who had come there looked at her and requested mother human beings wash away all their sins by praying to us taking bath in us and doing charity like that sins get accumulated in us for 11 years in the 12th year when guru brahaspati stays in simha rashi for one year we all will come here take bath in you and wash away our sins so at least for our sake you should take a boat here along with lord shiva as per their request and the boon given to gautama ganga devi and lord shiva took a boat there and remained as deity the ganga that runs there as a river for gautama is called as gautami or godavari lord shiva who remains as deity there at the shores of gautami or godavari river is called as triambakeshwara from that time on whenever guru brahaspati enters into simharashi all devas holy waters kshetras all come here so at that time no use in taking bath in other holy waters or tirthas only after guru brahaspati moves away from simharashi the devatas of tirthas will go to their respective places only then they will get the power to give the benefits to people who take bath in them one can take bath at all time in ganga narmada gaya and gomati river guru brahaspati entering into simharashi has no influence on them whoever goes to tirtha yatra should go to gomati river first then to godavari and then again to gomati river then all their sins will go away This is the greatness of the Triambakeshwara Jyotirlinga that is in the shores of Gothavari said Sudha Mahamuni Saunaka and other sages looked at him and prayed and requested to him Madhava you said Ganga came here in the form of water from where did she come what happened to those wicked rishis who did harm to Gautama Maharshi say as that also Sudha Mahamuni began to say sages here The Ganga who came for the prayers of Gautama came from the roots of the fig tree at Brahmagiri. Gautama took bath there and became most fortunate one. Many sages and people took holy bath there and became fortunate. That place began to be called as Ganga Dwar. Now let us see the state of the sages who harmed Gautama. Those wicked sages heard about devas taking bath in that Gautami Tirtha. they also wanted to take bath in it so they came there seeing them ganga wanted to disappear from there as she did not like them taking bath in her at once gautama magar she said whether these sages are good or bad they reside in my ashram it is because of them i had a darshan of you and lord shiva and you both are accepted to take a board here as deity for that ganga replied they are wicked betrayers ungrateful ignorant egoists hypocrites actors so they should be excluded gautama said oh madam please hear to what i say whoever does good to people who do harm to them i am sanctified by such fortunate people says lord shiva so you also should adhere to lord shiva's words again ganga's voice said gautama what you say is true but still they asked you to come around brahmagiri 101 times as prayaschit isn't it now they also should come around brahmagiri 101 times that is the prayaschit for their wicked act only then they will become worthy people on hearing to that that sages came around brahmagiri 101 times then gautama meditated upon ganga 
Ganga Devi, you should bless them. He prayed to her. Ganga also blessed them as Gautama desired. After that, those sages wore the sacred grass ring and took bath as per system at 15 yojana distance east of Ganga Dwar. So that place began to be called as Kusha Varda. Kusha means Darbha grass. The Rishi Patnis who spoke ill of Agalya, they also came there, took bath and prayed to Triyambakeshwara Jyotirlinga and lived a happy life. Whoever takes bath in at least any one, Ganga Dwar or Kusha Varda or Triyambakeshwara, Sanati or Koti Tirtha, where all holy rivers had a darshan of Ganga, will not be born again. What will I tell about the greatness of such a Godavari? Brahma, Vishnu and Rudra daily pray to that. There are no devas or sages or elders who do not pray to Godavari. An ordinary person, if he takes bath in this Tirtha, he will enjoy all happiness and finally attain moksha. How do I say the fortune of the people who take bath in this as per system, realizing all its greatness? Long time back, Sri Rama, seeing this Godavari, thought of sanctifying this world and stated Panchabadi, situated at the shores of Godavari. So, in this Punishetra, Ganga, then Lord Shiva and then Lord Vishnu, all three are here. For people who live here, nothing is impossible. The benefits one would enjoy by staying at Kashi Shetra, right from birth to death, one would attain that same benefit by staying here at Panchavati for three hours. Whoever has darshan of the Shankara as Triambakeshwara first, then Lord Sri Rama and then Ganga Dwar, will get rid of all their sins. Whoever has taken bath in these holy tirthas or Jeevan Muktas, liberated while living, Gautama Magarshi and other rishis live together there happily. I have said you all the greatness of Gautami River and Triambakeshwara. Whoever heard this with devotion will attain all their desires and live happily. Now I will tell you the glory of Vaidyanadeshwara.